a very interesting aspect. Uh, good morning, dear students. Uh, this session will be on error. That is combination of errors. In the previous session, as I said, we learned what is absolute error, relative error, and percentage error. We had few numericals. The first one was how clocks were compared. And the second one, the first numerical highlights about precision and accuracy. And the second example, simple pendulum example, covers what is absolute error, how, how you need to measure absolute error, and how you need to measure relative error. Finally, what is a percentage error? Let me go to how errors combine. It is called combination of errors in this topic. So again, it will be a beautiful physics session. It is combination of errors. combination of errors. So what are the mathematical operations? We know that we call it as mathematical operations. Mathematical operations. What are mathematical operations? We have addition, the first one. I hope it's addition. Then we have subtraction, addition, bar. I can say subtraction. Then I have multiplication, multiplication. Then I had a division. Yes. How these mathematical operations will give us error? How errors combine? Let me take an example, the book example. Know that density. Density is a physical quantity which is defined as mass of a substance mass of a substance divided by volume of a substance. Volume of a substance. Then if there is error in the mass measurement, and if there is error in the volume measurement, then what about the error in the density density calculated? This is called measured value, measured value. This ratio will give you a calculated value. It is called calculated, calculated value. And these two are called measured value measured value of a measurement. Take example, I had a substance, I measure its mass, then I measure its volume. While measuring volume, I may measure its length, I may measure its width, I may measure its spread. Or you can say I may measure its area, like you want to know what is the volume of a page. So page thickness is very, very negligible. What is the area of a page? You measure length and the breadth, we'll get a volume of a page. This is called mass is measured, volume is measured. So put that page and in, uh, under the, something like above the digital machine, the machine weighs like one gram, one page, one gram. So when I measure, it is called measured value. Then I measure the volume in terms of area into thickness, I'll get a volume. These two are measured values and you have a mathematical formula, density equal to mass upon volume, then what is this is called a calculator. What is the error in the calculated value? How error moves from measured value to calculated value or how errors progress or how errors move from one to the other physical quantity. One physical quantity, other physical quantity, the other physical. This is called combination of errors. Under the first heading, there is A, that is uh, errors in sum or a difference and errors in a product or a division. Something like product means multiplication, division means uh, division unit. It is called a ratio. So let me write the first one. There are two error in sum, error in sum or difference. This is one heading. Today we will address how errors propagate 
when we go for sum of a physical quantities and difference of physical quantity. Let me cross check. I will share the screen, then I will progress. So let me go to the sharing. Once again, I will erase it in the meanwhile. Uh, I hope it's very clear. What is the heading? The first A, error of a sum, error of, error of a sum or difference. Error of a sum or a difference. Let me start. Let, let A and B are two physical quantities. Physical quantities. Quantities. Yes. Then delta A and delta B happens to be the absolute errors. Absolute errors in A and B respectively. You can write it respectively, mathematically. Means delta A corresponds to A, delta B corresponds to B. It is called absolute errors. Absolute errors in physical quantity A, absolute errors in physical quantity B. Now we are free to write, I can write it, whenever I had a quantity A can be written as A plus or minus delta A. Similarly, you can write B physical quantity can be written as B, the name of physical quantity, mass. Mass we measure plus or minus error, similarly B plus or minus delta B. This is a, a we are written. Now if I talk about sum, when I talk about sum, let Z is equivalent to A plus B. If I say Z equal to A plus B, I can write Z also in this fashion. So similarly, I can write it Z here. Z is equivalent to Z plus or minus delta z. Same thing, I'll be writing it here on the right hand part. So this becomes z plus or minus delta z. z is a calculated value, a is a measured value. So whenever you do a measurement or a physical quantity, you get a measurement value plus or minus error, plus or minus error. It is called absolute error. It may be positive, it may absolute error. So sometimes your value, mean value, it can be positive or negative in that way. So Z plus or minus delta Z is equivalent to similarly A plus or minus delta A. So this gets bracket over first part. Then plus I'll be writing. Then you write B plus or minus delta B. This is a mathematics. This completes the first part. I've written the simple mathematics. Then I'll be removing the heading so that we'll get some place to write the next steps. I hope it's very clear. Let I have written these two things. Next, yes. What are A and B? A, are, A and B happens to be physical quantities. Now, when I move from here, I have one more step. I can do it, but uh, before doing anything, I will simplify it. A, so you have plus or minus, plus or minus. There is plus is here, no issue. I can write it is equivalent to, it's visible, A, plus B, right? This plus, you can write it. And insert bracket, I can write plus or minus delta A, plus or minus delta B. So this can be easily written. Let me rewrite it once again here, this step. So Z plus or minus delta Z is equivalent to the same step I'll be writing. A plus B, this is over plus 
I have written. Then insert bracket, we can write plus or minus delta A. Similarly, plus or minus delta B. So this is taken as Z and this is plus or minus you have everything this don't worry this whole this is delta a plus delta b this is taken as whole delta z now from the relation i can say delta z is equal to plus or minus delta a you call it as equation 1 call it as equation 2 from equation 2 you can say delta z equal to plus or minus delta a plus or minus delta sorry delta b so call it as three when you look at one one is a simple two is also simple by using this identity when you look at the third one delta z is absolute error in the major calculated value a is a measured value b is a measured value a is a physical quantity b is a physical quantity delta a and delta b are the respective absolute errors what is Z? Z is a calculated value. What is delta Z? Delta Z is an absolute error in the calculated value. Now, delta Z, there are four possibilities. Let me remove this. Yes, uh, I hope, yes. Uh, what are the possibilities? If you permit me, I'll be writing on the right-hand side. What are the possibilities means? We call it as a possibility. So when you take delta Z, the first one, plus delta A plus delta B, plus delta A minus delta B minus delta A plus something like there are four combinations. What are the four possible combinations? Delta Z is equal to plus delta A plus delta B plus delta A minus delta B minus delta A plus delta B minus delta A minus delta B. When I write all the possibilities, first possibility, I'll be writing here plus delta A plus delta B plus delta A minus delta b i think it's visible on your board yes then minus minus delta a plus delta b yes next one last one minus delta a minus delta b think your delta a value is is equal to 1 and delta b value is equal to let me write it here delta b value equal to 2 so it is 1 it is 2 some numbers to understand what is this four possibilities because delta z has four combinations plus or minus delta a plus or minus delta b think delta a is 1 delta b is 2 some numbers you are given now plus 1 plus 1 it becomes 1 plus 2 it is going to be 3 plus 1 minus 1 it becomes minus 1 so minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 plus 2 again becomes plus 1 minus 1 minus 2 it becomes minus 3 so when you do delta z measurement the maximum possible error means the if i go with this combination i'll get minus 3 this combination plus 1 this combination minus 1 this combination plus delta a plus delta b will give me 3 the among the four possible errors Delta Z will get me four possible errors. Among the four possible error, Delta A plus Delta B is the maximum possible value. That is called maximum possible error. Among the four possible error, if I take one, one plus two, plus one, plus two, it becomes plus three. Hence I can say Delta Z, let me write finally here. Yes, with your consent, the maximum possible error in delta z maximum possible maximum possible error maximum possible error in delta z is equivalent to i hope there's a small space let me write it here delta z is equivalent to plus delta a plus delta b so this completes the mathematics or I can say finally I will be free to write it the maximum possible error in delta z is going to be delta z is going to be plus delta a plus delta b this completes the first how errors
combine when addition of physical quantities takes place. Let me repeat. What is heading? Combination of errors. In that, errors, error of a sum. What is error of a sum? A is a physical quantity, B is a physical quantity. When these two measured values are added up, it is called addition, it is called a sum. I'm not going for difference now. I'm going for sum. When two measured quantities get added up, what happens to the calculated value Z? Even the calculated value has an error. It is defined as Z plus or minus delta Z. Because the measured value is written as A plus or minus delta A, B plus or minus delta B. In that way, we went on doing the mathematics and finally, delta Z is the absolute error in the calculated value. This delta Z has four possibilities. The first possibility, second possibility, third possibility, fourth. Among the four possibilities, the first one plus delta A plus delta B gives me the maximum possible value of error. So that should be considered. Hence, delta Z, when errors, when physical quantities are added, the maximum possible error happens to be absolute error in A plus absolute error in B. This is called absolute error in A. This is called absolute error in B. This completes the first part, error of a sum. Similarly, we go for difference. Let me show the screen, then I'll proceed for the next one. Of course, now we'll talk about, yes, we are going to talk about a simple difference. Okay, let me come back. Yes. Uh, the second part of this discussion is difference. How errors propagate when we add to physical quantities. Like similarly, A is written as A plus or minus delta A. I need to write, this is the requirement. B is a physical quantity. Any physical quantity can be written as A plus or minus delta A, B plus or minus delta B. This is a mathematical approach. Similarly, if Z be the calculate, this is a measured value, measured value, let Z be the calculated difference. It is called calculated difference. I can write it as Z plus or minus delta Z. So all the three have been written here, like similarly. Now, when I go for a difference, D I double F E R E N C, it is called subtraction or difference. The mathematics goes in this way. Let me write. Let Z is equal to A minus B. A means this, B means this, Z means this. A minus B. If I write the mathematics, same mathematics here, instead of writing here, let me write below this. This equation, call it as first equation. We'll be writing here. Z plus or minus delta Z, which is equivalent to this mathematics. Now A, plus or minus delta A, close the bracket, minus symbol comes, then B plus or minus delta B. Yes, this is going to be next equation. Now you write it once again, now you simplify it because you want plus or minus, the mathematics should be there. Now I'll be writing A, it becomes minus B, there is no uh, greater mathematics here, A minus B, then what happens this plus or minus remains as it is, plus or minus delta A as it is. Once this minus goes inside, it becomes minus or plus delta B. There is nothing great in it. So when you talk about this relationship, so what is A minus B? A minus B is Z plus or minus delta Z. Now delta Z is what? Delta Z is plus or minus delta A, minus or plus both are one and the same. Now finally, you call it as equation two. So this is written as Z plus or minus delta Z. I hope there's one more step. Now delta Z, it looks like mathematically, plus or minus delta A. You can take minus or plus delta B, whichever you feel, 
and call it as third equation. Now, from third equation, you can think, what is the maximum possible error? Yes, the maximum possible error, the maximum, the maximum possible error in delta Z, the calculated absolute error in Z is going to be, there again, there are four possibilities, plus delta A, minus delta B, plus delta A, plus delta B, minus delta A, minus delta B, minus delta A, plus delta A. Again, like a four combinations. Among the four possible combinations, again, delta Z is equal to plus delta A, plus delta B, plus delta A, plus delta B gives the maximum error in delta Z. So when I compare this final step, when you look at the equation four and look at the equation in the previous sum, we learned that whether it is an error of a sum or a difference, the maximum possible error, the maximum possible absolute error, the maximum possible absolute error that is called delta Z, whether it is a sum or a difference, it will be plus delta A plus delta B, or you can simply say absolute error in A plus absolute error in B, or I can make a statement. The rule says that whether it is a sum of, it is an error in sum or a difference, the, the absolute error in the final result, this is called final result. The absolute error in the final result is equal to the, is equal to the sum of uh, individual absolute errors in A and B. It is called the sum of individual absolute errors in A and B. Whether you do the sum or a difference, error get added up. So what I mean to say, whether you go for, uh, where is that? Yes. Whether you go for this A minus B or A plus B, whether you go for Z equal to A plus B or you go to Z equal to A minus B. We started with these two things. Whether you add the physical quantities or you subtract the physical quantities, this Z is called calculated value. This Z is called calculated value. Their corresponding errors, the corresponding error will be always the sum of the individual errors. I repeat, if Z is a calculated value, it is called sum of the physical quantities. Z equal to difference between the physical quantities. These two quantities are differences. Along, what is delta A? Delta A is the absolute error in A. Delta B is the absolute error in B. What happens to delta Z? the calculated absolute error. The calculated absolute error, whether it is a sum or a difference, it is always the addition of individual absolute errors. This completes uh, error in sum or a difference. Let me go to the share. Finally, I'm going to make a statement. The rule says that when two quantities are added or subtracted, the absolute error in the final result is the sum of the absolute errors in the individual quantities. That's why it is written as delta Z equal to delta A plus delta B. Let me go to the next example. The example is simple. You can associate yourself. Yes. What is the example? The temperatures of two bodies measured by a thermometer are, so we have an instrument. The temperatures of two bodies, there are two bodies, one body A, body B. Body A temperature is T1, body B temperature is T2. You call it as body 1 is 1, body 2 is 2. The first body uh, temperature is measured with the thermometer. It is read as 20 degree, yes, plus or minus 0.5 degree centigrade. The second one, 50 degree, plus or minus 0.5 degree centigrade. Calculate the temperature difference and the error therein. So the simple question, calculate the temperature difference and the error therein. Let T dash be the temperature difference, T2 minus T1, the mathematics. T2 minus T1 is the mathematics, you write first T2, then you write T minus, then you write T1, then according to the mathematics, you know that T dash equivalent to T dash plus or minus delta T dash, which is equivalent to, you have to add the physical quantities. Let me explain it very systematically on a board. You try your level best, I will stop. Uh, let me erase the board, then I will continue. In the meanwhile, go through the next uh, theory part, right?
the next discussion will be error of a product before going for error of a product let me simplify this numerical i hope you can easily support yourself yes the numerical is 20 degree 0.5 degree centigrade 50 degree plus or minus 0.5 degree centigrade yes we'll have a numerical on this let me start the screen let me stop yes okay uh, in this second part of the session we'll have a numerical which clarifies what is error of a sum or a difference we had error of a sum or a difference let me write an example the example says that you have a first physical quantity its temperature is measured its temperature is t1 so let t1 be the temperature which is measured as 20 degree so it is just a wet let me read it but you have two bodies body 1 body 2 first body is temperature is measured it is called t1 second body temperature is t2 t1 what i measure it is 20 degree centigrade but i say the error is maybe a plus 0.5 degree centigrade or minus 0.5 degree centigrade similarly when i go for second body the thermometer reads it is 50 degree centigrade plus plus 0.5 degree or minus 0.5 degree centigrade what i mean the first body temperature is 20 degree plus or minus 0.5 degree centigrade second body whose temperature is 50 degree plus or minus 0.5 degree centigrade let me write on the board a board is ready plus or minus 0.5 degree centigrade so both are measured in yes the second one t2 the second body its temperature is 50 degree plus or minus 0.5 5 degree centigrade so now the question is what is the error in the measurement what is the difference difference in the measurement i need to calculate difference what is the difference let t dash is defined as it is larger since t2 is greater than since t2 is greater than t1 i can go for a subtraction in this way t2 minus t1 call it as equation 1 yes i have done what is the next mathematics the next mathematics is very simple let t dash can be defined as similarly we know that all the four quantities can be written in this way let me write it yes t dash is written as t dash plus or minus delta t dash which is equivalent to the sign is here t2 can be written as t2 plus or minus delta t2 then i had a minus symbol let me put it and it is t1 means t1 plus or minus delta t1 so what is this this whole equation t1 means this is t1 you can think it as t1 you can think it as t2 so t1 equal to 20 degree plus or minus 0.5 degree t2 equal to 50 degree plus or minus 0.5 same thing i have written here now when you do the simple analysis in place of t2 plus or minus delta t2 t1 plus or minus, if i put these things the mathematics looks like this let me go for the next value let me remove this it looks like a very simple analysis which is equivalent to inside a bracket t2 means 50 degree plus or minus 0.5 minus sign again i had a 20 degree plus or minus 0.5 so the simplification gives you as you know the previous thing mathematics relation it is 50 minus 20 50 degree minus 20 and, and we say that it is going to be something like plus or minus delta a and delta b let me write it it is 0.5 plus or minus 0.5 so this completes your analysis so this 50 minus 20 gives you a simple analysis let me write it here it's this gives you which is equivalent to this part 50 minus 20 gives you 30 it's visible plus or minus so this i can write it as plus or minus so when you add do these mathematics 0.5 plus 0.5 it becomes 1 degree centigrade 0.5 minus 0.5 zero there are four possibilities the first possibility is 1 degree centigrade plus 1 0 0 minus 1 this is a maximum possible error then i can say it is plus or minus 1 
say value. So it is going to be plus or minus one degree centigrade. So or you can write it as this here. This gives you 30 degree centigrade plus or minus one degree centigrade. So let me show you in the textbook. What is our final answer? We got the answer close to 30 degree plus or minus one degree centigrade. When you do the mathematics, this mathematics gives you the value 50 degree minus 20 degree centigrade. It becomes 30 degree centigrade plus or minus. Mathematically, you can go on simplifying. Finally, we'll end up with the maximum possible error is going to be one degree centigrade. But how we write it? We write it in this fashion, but it get added up. What is added up? This delta T dash is going to be one degree centigrade. So the next one is going to be error of a product or a quotient. You read it. Once I explain in the next class, it becomes very simple and meaningful. You just have a glance over it. You try from your end. Definitely, it helps you better. So if I explain, definitely I'll be explaining. With this, we'll end. Uh, hopefully, we'll.